What's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks mainly for beginners but at the end of this video I'm also going to show you one that is a little more advanced. So if we head over to the research assistant if you've been playing first ascender for a while you'll know who this person is. This is an ace and over here you can research oh, and create all different need? materials from descendants to weapons to materials, weapon materials, enhanced material. You go into any one of these, it's very simple, click on it, and research request. But let's say, for instance, we will go to a descendant material and we'll look at a glaze uh, spiral catalyst. So as you can see, I do have some of the items, and in this case here, I need this synthesized artificial biometal. If I click on it, it tells me where I can farm this material. So now, let's say you're in the mission, or you're hanging out at the at the outpost or the base, and you want to remember, or you're trying to remember, uh, what metals you need or where to, where to go to get it. Well, if you go to your main map, and you go to over to Access Info, over here, it gives you pretty much everything you need to find material and where it is. So in this case here, we'll start, this is the research. Descendant. Glay. We want to get Glay. We want to get her enhanced cell. So I need to get the enhanced cell blueprint. If I hit acquisition info, it's going to tell me how to get it and what patterns those reside in. And you can do this for weapons. You can do this for enhanced material. You know, crystallation catalyst. You're going to want to make a lot of these. And it tells you material needed and where you get it. Over here in the modules, let's say there's a particular module you're looking for. Let's say you were looking for this absolute zero for, for Ultima Fiesta. Again, click on the acquisition info and it tells you where you get it. In this case, it's an instant battle hard frost walker. Another nice thing is you can actually tag this and when you go here, it will it shows it as a tag and you can access the acquisition info right from this menu. Under your external components, this shows you all the components. So now, for instance, I really want this Slayer Auxiliary Power set. If I click on it, it says I have to battle Pyromaniac, which I can't do yet because I haven't got to that point yet. That's under all. You can search them by each piece if you want. Uh, same thing goes for consumables. So here's your core material, your basic material, and your amorphous material. Any one of these menus, you can search what you're looking for by tier if you own them or not, so forth and so on. If they're grayed out, you don't have them. But again, acquisition info tells you where you can go get it. Another little point that I see people sleeping on is obviously here is the fast travel to get back to Albion. Now, when you, when you finish a mission and it says return to Albion, this is where it puts you. But let's say you want to return to Albion on your own. Well, you, you want to return to Albion, you want to research something or create something. You can go right to this one, and it will drop you right where we were just standing. So a lot of people sleep on this one. Either they sleep on it, or just because when you bring the map up, this is what it is. Another interesting point is if you go to your world map, you can select your difficulty. Or, in this case here, you don't have to go to Seneca, you can pick your intercept battle. So, look here, on void uh, intercept battle, in this case hard. And I want to fight Devour. That's my next one I have to fight. You can do it right from here. If you ever have any questions, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. The other thing I see people sleep on in Albion are these two globes. This one over here is Special Operations. These are different missions you can do. I do this one quite a bit to help level up my character and guns. You also get a Morpheus pattern, so you get gold, shards, whatnot. Uh, very easy, then you start mission right from here. The other globe is for dungeon battles. So you can pick normal or hard. You can pick your mission. Select that mission. And it gives you what drops. You can also add different options to help increase your drop rate. But something interesting here that I found out recently is, so this tells you it gives you Amorphous Pattern 56. But if you hit this little change button, 
it also drops a Morpheus Pattern 57. So if you're looking for 57, you have to select this, apply it, and now that drop for the pattern will be 57. So that's something to keep in mind. You can start that private operation or you can start it public right from here. One last thing before I end the video, I did tell you that I had a trick for a little more advanced. If you go back to your world map and you go to uh, difficulty level rewards and you click on that, this is for your reactors. So if there's a specific reactor you're looking for, you can sort by type, battlefield. You can sort by what rounds. You can sort by what you're looking for. So in this case, I'm a Lepic, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna sort by type all. I'm gonna search for all rounds. I'm gonna search for fire. I'm gonna search for tech, and you can search for the item you're looking for. So in this case, I said reactor, and this tells you where you can go to get those. So you just click on it, and it gives you the area that you can farm to get those reactors. That does change. I think it's weekly, but it tells you the rotation. This whole thing rotates in two days and ten hours. And that's going to do it for this one, everybody. I do appreciate you watching this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and giving it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below on what you think of this video or what you'd like to see in future videos. Until the next time, catch you all later.